Anybody want to talk about the neighborhood? If not, I'll talk about mine. Sorry. Right. Sure. Okay. We need the map up, David. Of, uh, yeah, uh, east side of Toronto. About that, Jerry, uh, east side of Toronto. <laughs> uh -huh. and it's not the baddest part. Well, parts, but aren't so good. But <laughs> most of it's pretty good. Rick, if you could mention who's to the east of you, to the west of you, yeah, south of you, I'll just because it's of. sometimes I think east, I think it's all blurred to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, like so um, yeah. <laughs> uh, ranging out from. Uh, Scarborough, and that's kind of a, a, a bit of a gray area. I go into Scarborough. Uh, What's the boundary? Oh, is, is yeah, that it's, specifically it's Robinson, Ed, oh, yeah, Robinson? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, he keeps coming out and pickering in Ajax, so tough. <laughs> and, and he's in Florida all the time. So, no, don't. Uh, uh, as I say, I didn't realize I was taking that. It's <laughs> fine. Uh, essentially, <laughs> so we've got that Ed here. Uh, the Rouge River cuts the, that is the boundary between Metro Toronto and Durham Region. Uh, yes, there is land on the other side of the Rouge River, contrary to pop popular opinion that the Rouge River just goes down and you fall off the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. It's not true. There is land out here. Uh, I live right out in here. And basically go, uh, as I say, anything this way and all the way out. Um, I go out as far as the 115, which is, is going even past um, Rod's area, uh, and Rod kind of comes my way. So when you get in about Whitby here, we're kind of divided between Rod <coughs> and myself, and then as you get past uh, the 115, you're really running into uh, your territory. How far this way would you come? No, uh, Newcastle will be the closest on, on, on a stretch. Port Hope, right. Right. Port Hope. Yeah. Okay. Port, then yeah. so we've got kind of uh, me and Rod, and then Dave. Yeah. Okay. So Pickering Ajax Whitby uh, is is really more my turf. Uh, Whitby Oshawa, um, Curtis even to Bowmanville is probably Rod, Rod yeah. and then from the 115 going out. All the way out is, is, is uh, Dave. So, um, and then when we get up into the north uh, in each area, uh, we get a little bit closer to Peterborough and that. Uh, do we really have anybody at this point, Peterborough? No. no. Okay, so again, would you go up that far? I have access to it. I don't go, I don't go that far very often. Okay, all right. Well, if you get something that way for now, um, I just did one in Peterborough, but that was actually because the uh, couple would not take a referral to somebody else that I know up there. And uh, so uh, a little bit of driving, but it works. So that's, uh, that, as I say, me, Rod, Dave, and so if it's out the East End. And again, if it's an area where you're not sure, just get in touch with one of us and we'll, we'll work it out between the three of us. Um, any questions? I mean... Is anybody not familiar with the area? So to the north, give me a name, give me a... Uh, well, the north is going to kind of, if you line up over North Pickering, so give me a shout up into, say, north of Whitby, and then we're going to cross over into Rod. Okay. And if it's too far off in that, I'll just refer it over to Rod or tell you, hey, okay. give Rod a shout, and same thing as we go further east to, to Dave. So, so how I far north would you go and how far south? Because that kind of spills out of part of your pocket too, right? No, I would say like Stouffville, north. Okay, so he's up into Pickering. Um, uh, Stouffville is more here. So anything up this way, and he's going to go up Mount, Mount Albert and that area. Yeah. Stouffville, yeah. Oxbridge. Yeah. Yeah. I usually stay south of that. I'd be more apt to go uh, up towards Port Perry than I would be to go Stoneville side. Okay. Your preference is Port over Uxbridge? Your preference is Port over Uxbridge? Is Port Perry? I, I tend to go more up that way um, than I would Stoneville. That's more of a over Markham type of yeah. situation. And if anybody has uh, a question about any of the areas in Ontario, you can always pass it through me. I've got a pretty good working knowledge of Ontario, so I can know who does what, more or less. And if they're on the border, then I would speak to both people and see who is more comfortable 
uh, with whether their boards cover and so on and so forth. But if we just keep doing this, eventually we'll all have a good knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Ray. Now, right. Can I just put a, one more thing also? If you're listing something on the Toronto Real Estate Board and it happens to be outside, meaning I just listed a, co a cottage for a friend of ours that, you know, they're in uh, northern Quebec, thinking that it's going to be on realtor.ca and it's going to help them out. Yeah. Korea sent me a letter and it will be, it's been removed now. Oh. They're allowing you to list it on your board, but as soon as it's out of province, it removes it from, they remove it from realtor.ca because you're not licensed in that area. Uh, for a province. For that province, yeah. So yeah. just, I'm just giving, yes. like, I didn't know that, my manager didn't know that, and, you know, once we read, read the, the rules of Korea, it's just like, yeah, oh, okay. So. All right. Thank you for that. All right, David, you're on about mortgage.